Today we've, we've gathered a range of people who live in the Bowness and Blackness area to come and share their views. We're creating a new community action plan. They looked at the previous plan and they also looked forward and looked at assets in the, in the town and uh, really lively discussions um, to, uh, to start us going. We were looking at the last five year plan and um, what was a positive or what was a success, what was did okay, maybe didn't meet all its goals and what didn't meet its goals. One of the activities was we had this piece of string and we went from successful to unsuccessful and we looked at what projects that have been funded and looked at throughout the past five years, what has been the most successful and what maybe hasn't there been anything done with. The asset planning was to identify your priorities for the forthcoming uh, plan. So you took all your points, placed them out on the asset map and then we developed uh, our strategies for, for the future. Or other priorities at our table. Presumably they'll all be put together and identified what the actual priorities are. So we've read post-its for things that we thought were really, really important, like potholes in the road, bad litter problems, job filling, and we went on to yellow ones, yellow post, yellow cards for um, social and fundraising, cinema, motor museum, what we felt was good for the town and where people would be interested to visit the town. Main themes that came out of our group was community and socialising and helping each other and it's a very friendly town and we come together to do things in a group, we're good at it. So the main th themes that our group looked at was transport to local towns because bonus hasn't, you know, it doesn't have the same sort of community hub that Falkirk does, so we struggle sometimes to get transport links to different towns like Grangemouth, or, uh, Falkirk or Lithgow. So we're looking a lot at that and how that could maybe be improved. Also, we were looking at the heritage side of things, so Bowness has a lot of history. There is the, the railway, there is Canal House and whatnot, and we're looking at maybe how either those can be improved or how those can be utilised to benefit the town a bit more, because maybe the transport to them and from them, and maybe people that are going just for, say, the railway, they maybe don't know that the town is right next door and that they could go and have a look around all some of the shops and everything that are there to be used. We covered quite a lot of topics. I think we had about 40 topics on the last board. Uh, so that was quite a lot. And I think both of the exercises, it just allowed everybody, ended up being a debate. Um, and just people prioritising what they thought. Um, you know, obviously some things are more important to others. I think the main theme was try to get a bit more cohesion between um, the local groups and local interests in the town. As I said, the, the town has a lot going for it, a lot of volunteer, volunteers, a lot of voluntary groups, but a lot of them don't talk to each other and, and, and we're all trying to achieve the same thing. So I think an event like today certainly will bring a lot together and for, you know, for the benefit of the town. It's been a great community consultation event here today. Lots of lively discussions, people really enjoyed themselves um, and hopefully made some really good points um, that we can take forward um, when we're preparing the new action plan. And I just want to thank everybody that's turned up. It's been great. Yeah.